Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is 3.4. What's going on, world? How are you? Welcome back to Channel 3.4. This is an episode of Music Felt by Me. Someone left a comment underneath my still the baddest reaction to Froggy Fresh Rap uh, <laughs> music video. They said, have you checked out his No Diddy? What's his real name here? I forget the name he's going by. I don't know if that's his government or not, but uh, Tyler Cassidy's No Diddy. So we're just going to check this out. Always leave a comment down below. I may check it out one day. We'll hey, but if there's something you want guaranteed, you go head on over to Patreon. You can become a, a member. Guaranteed music reaction uh, if you want to head on over to the Patreon member or Patreon uh, website there. Links for that are down below. Discord, of course, live every single Tuesday. YouTube members get free requests while I'm live also. So. Hey, Puff. Don't let me down. Take a sad boy oh, and make him famous. And remember to let him into your butt. Then you can start to make that chatter. Chatter, chatter, chatter. I set off on a Friday night. Yeah, I was about to have the time of my life. Black man showed up in all white and offered me a glass of Bacardi on a I know Diddy's the butt of the joke. No pun intended. The problem is, is this feels cash grabby. This feels clout chasey. And it's also not fucking funny. Like, <laughs> I know that there are jokes about it. It's, it's weird. It's weird. It's a kind of a nuanced thing. But like, just making fun of the victims of Diddy in in hypothetical satire it just seems odd to me i don't yeah i'm not in on this my dad and he gave me a cup of drinks i said puffy i can't see and keep me away from me or say i got problems with jay-z yeah yeah leo dicaprio on the <laughs> You know that? All right, all right. I think Jay Z is lazy. <laughs> and Beyonce, hey, this is I'm cute. It's okay, Beyonce. From from the song The Baddest. So he says the the whole thing with Beyonce and Jay Z. Jay Z, and I think Jay Z is lazy. So he says, what'd you say? Yeah, I can't see and keep me. Yeah, he says, keep me away from Beyonce. I got problems with Jay-Z. That's what he's like calling back to the baddest song. And keep me away from Beyonce. I got problems with Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah, Leo DiCaprio on the casting couch. I said, Lord, please save their child. I smoke Mary J with Mary J. She said, baby, please stay a while. Don't you want to be knock, knock, knocking on prison's door? Yeah, the FBI won't help me anymore. Nah. Knock, knock, knocking on prison's door. Oh, yeah, the CIA won't help me anymore. Oh. Nah. I miss when no diggity was that shit. Way for 50. Who shot pop? Who killed Biggie? Who fucked me? Yeah, it just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Unnecessary, 
Uh, and I know that like that strange, or the, what I, what I feel about this record is strange, considering I'm just a guy giving my opinion and injecting myself into people's art. So I understand the hypocrisy with this, but like, who was waiting for a Tyler Cassidy record in regards to Diddy? I don't, I don't know. And I know, I get it. Because who was asking for my opinion other than the, other than the commenter that asked if I'd heard it? You know what I mean? But it just feels unneeded. It feels very unneeded. I don't know. Just very... I don't, I don't like when when comedy feels intentional or like satire feels like intentionally shocking it was just I don't know it didn't feel genuine didn't feel sincere it felt like a guy that was trying to get a laugh and I don't like it just feels very try hardy to me uh I reckon I'm gonna give it a 14 it uh stinks so uh the Jay-Z line was funny that shit was funny that's the only thing that kept it above a 10 for me it's just the <laughs> keep me away from Beyonce I got problems with Jay-Z <laughs> That was funny. Uh, that's going to do it for me, everyone. Be safe, be real. Don't forget to your own happiness. Shall I catch y'all on the next one? Thank you to Patreon and YouTube members Clay Hopkins, Mohamed Bukamza, and Kylo Renz.